This thing has been a pain in my butt. I modified the tension lever here. Um, and as you can see, without the pendulum on, the hand is rotating. But before, with the loop going around the pinion gear, that was creating issues. And uh, it was putting a bind on the hour wheel. So I modified the wire here to where it doesn't go around the pinion gear. And as you can see, the hand is moving. So now I have to go back to where I originally started and figure out whether or not the um, the pendulum suspension spring is correct and I'm sorry I told you in the first video I told you wrong the medication that I take sometimes <clears throat> screws up my thought process and I told you by shortening the wire that would slow the clock down. I was wrong. I told you wrong. Shortening the wire speeds up the clock. Shortening this wire here, which the pendulum hangs on, speeds up the clock, making this wire longer will slow down the clock shortening it speeds up the clock um, I had somebody that I know challenged me and he was right I was just like I said the medication I take screws up my thought process sometimes and I wouldn't recommend anybody being on gabapentin or pregabalin they are both nerve pills they're both designed to tell your brain that you're not hurting well I started off on gabapentin and now I'm on pregabalin the pregabalin helps out my thought process better I could find the words that I want to say better than the gabapentin, but it still messes up my thought process. Um, it does help without taking that medication. I'm in more pain. So it does help with telling my brain that I'm not hurting, but It still messes with my thought process and me wanting to say what I want to say. But as you can see, the hand is still turning. So I've resolved that issue. Now I need to put this on my stand, set the time, and set the uh, uh, pendulum on to adjust the time. With the beat amplifier hooked up, you should be able to hear it. It sounds pretty good. The hand is turning. Now I need to go put it on a stand that's not my desk so I can monitor the time. In one half hour's time span, it has gained about four minutes, which is a good thing because now I can lower the pendulum to adjust the time. So I've accomplished what I was wanting to accomplish. 
The hands are moving. The clock is running fast. So now I can lower the pendulum because I have plenty of space to do so. So now it's time to put this case back into the, sorry, now it's time to put this movement back into the case. And it's always a scary feeling when you're working on these antique clocks because as you can see, this is how the glass is held in with these nails. And so uh, that is a scary feeling. Uh, you want to use plenty of protection because I'm sure that is original glass for this clock. And the hole is bigger than what I want. So um, I'm going to be putting some tape around this screw to make the uh, hole smaller. Typically you put toothpicks or something but I tried that and it's not working so adding the tape should make it tighter. Which it does. And I have to do the same thing for the bottom screw because it don't want to tighten up. Or maybe I just didn't Well, that took care of it. I just didn't tighten it up tight enough. But the tape worked for the top screw to fill in the hole. And I don't want to break the glass. So I'm going to take the dial off. After I get the right screwdriver. There's three screws that hold this bezel onto the the clock. This ring is called the dial bezel. And that's what holds the glass in. And this ring of this clock is uh, nailed down to the base of the clock. So I have the nails lined up, but I don't want to break the glass. So now I should be able to uh, tap the nails in. I want to make sure that the uh, dial itself is in the proper place. I 
and I might have to uh, resort to wood screws. Because, uh, I get one nail in, and the other nail pops out. to tighten up the uh the movement in the clock I have keys into the uh winding arbors and that way I know that the uh clock movement is where it needs to be. So now I could tighten up the uh, movement. I'll try to. So now I can put the uh, hands on. And I have to adjust the, uh, the gong. Hopefully I will not break the wire in the process of adjusting the gong that would be upsetting Yeah, before I put the hour hand where it needs to be, I need to figure out where it needs to be.
that struck 11. And I'm going to uh, turn it one more time to make sure. Now I've figured out where the hour hand needs to be. I need to put the hour hand on. And I broke the very tip of it off. But I could still live with it. What happened was... Because I was trying to figure out where it needed to where everything needed to be. I ended up breaking the uh, tip off. This stuff right here is sprayway glass cleaner. It's some of the best stuff on the product. Foaming action, ammonia free, streak free. A friend of mine told me about this. You can purchase it at Menards. I'm sure Walmart might carry it. But I use this stuff all the time. To include on my TV, my computer, but if you're going to spread on your TV or your computer or anything that is plugged into the wall, unplug it from the wall first. I know somebody who was cleaning a computer. I don't know what she was cleaning that with. But she was cleaning it during an electrical storm. And she got electrocuted. So make sure you unplug it from the wall. Is what I'm getting at. I personally don't like the dial that's on this clock. Because the hands are hard to see. And that's probably why they put that paper dial on to start with. And if you watched my last video... I show you the paper dial that originally came with this clock and the very last part of that video. And I understand why they used that paper dial. And I just might go back to 
that paper towel. It's time to put the uh, the back on the clock, put the pendulum on the clock, and run it for a few days and to adjust the time. As you can see, I got the clock hung up. I think I need to adjust the bell a little bit more. It's kind of hard to do this video and show you what I want to show you. But, like I said, I need to uh, let it run for a few days to adjust the time now that I know that it's working properly. But, I hope you all like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it's free to do so. Uh, may God bless each and every one of you. One last thing. This little door is a good place to store your key.